I have some tea for you guys today. Anything negative that you are perceiving in your 3D reality means absolutely nothing. I don't care if your specific person is a thousand miles away, if there's a third party, if there's 50 third parties, whatever's happening in your reality does not define your future. And today I have an amazing idea for one, like I always do, but I actually have two success stories that explain this so massively. So if you're still sus on this idea, thinking that your 3D reality means anything and you can't manifest your SP, listen to these success stories and then you can watch the rest of the video. All right, so I got my, got my phone for notes because I gotta show the success story up there, but I'll put the first one up right now. And so this first one says, I just wanted to say thank you because after listening to your advices, my specific person asked me on a date, even though a month ago he said he doesn't want to have any sort of connection with me. So thank you so much. I'm so grateful for this. So think about that. Literally a month ago, was that a month ago? Apparently I can't even read on my phone. A month ago said no connection. And that's kind of on the surface of, well, actually you're reading it. Why didn't you just tell me that? It's right on the screen. You tell me it was a month ago, but that's usually what happens when anyone's manifesting. I've seen stuff like this happen time and time again, and it literally doesn't mean squat, right? SPs say a bunch of stuff. I've had uh, SPs when they manifested say that their specific person doesn't like them. They never want to be with them. And you'll see in the, in the, in the next success story, but think about that. How would you feel right now? I know you probably were thinking, Kyle, are you sure? Are you sure that circumstances, are you sure that the 3d doesn't matter what's happening around? And yes, had your specific person ever said, I don't have any sort of connection with you. You'd probably be thinking if you were this person in that state, probably thinking that it was all screwed up, right? Ugh, I can't manifest my SP. It's screwed over. I'm done. I just have to give up. And that's why I made that whole video about giving up because this doesn't mean anything. Your specific person saying that doesn't mean anything. If you want to learn how to play or play the guitar and you suck at it on day one, that doesn't mean anything. If you suck at it at week one, that doesn't mean anything, right? It's all circumstance. If you don't have a guitar, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it's like things that we feel are blocking us from getting to where we want to go are all just a part of the journey, a part of the br bridge of, of events. Because this person, so on this successor, I shouldn't be pointing with that, this successor right here, that was a part of the journey. That was a that was literally perfect. If it didn't happen in the way that it had, they may not be with their specific person right now. So think about that. And they're probably happy together. I actually have not heard back from them. Usually no, no news is good news because then usually people only come to me when something's going really, really wrong. But that's just something that I want you to keep in mind as we're going through this. And so think of yourself, if you were in that situation and knew literally um, one month from now, your specific person saying, I don't have a connection to you, to being on a date with them, what would you think? How would you feel? Would you believe it, right? I tell everyone, I'm telling you this right now, whatever circumstances, whatever 3D you feel you're dealing with, literally you're one month away, Le legit one month away. And that's actually more like, powerful. And that's what I was telling everyone in the weekly sessions I was having for the, the new group that I opened up in January. I was telling everyone, I'm, I'm telling that to everyone in my YouTube members, literally. And I have some good successes I want to tell you already, but I'm keeping it a secret for a different video. But that's what I'm telling everyone, no matter what success or the opposite of that, no matter what circumstance is happening in your 3D reality, it does not matter. And again, the, everyone probably doesn't believe me. Everyone who's going to be with their specific person in my members, in my weekly sessions, and all my coaching, you in this video, you don't believe me that you're going to be with your specific person on February 1st. That's okay because I know that you can do it. And literally, no matter what you say, no matter what negativity you spew out of your mouth against yourself, it's not going to take that sick of fact of nature. You're going to get what you want. There's no way that you could outrun it, right? You're going to get exactly what you want. But so there's just the first success story. And I haven't even started talking about how to actually ignore the 3D because I'll get into that. I'll tell you exactly how these individuals were able to do it. But I'll put up the second. So here's the second success story. So this success actually happened in my weekly coaching. So it was someone who signed up two, week, 
or meet each and every week for a month. It's like, um, it's like my holy, holy crap packages that I have. But so this person, let's read it. So I literally just got a missed call from him five minutes ago. I was not expecting that. I was definitely not near my phone. Didn't hear it either because it was on vibrate. My mind is completely blown. And I want to give you some information that this individual that she said in our coaching sessions. So when you guys are seeing these successes, you might be exactly like her. Her first thought was, mm, those are, that's too good to be true. Like what I wrote down exactly what she said. She said, is this really true? Before she signed up for coaching with me, she was like, is this really true? Is this really happening? That seems literally, she used the word impossible. She used the word impossible. And after she had this success, she told me that, cause she told me this, all of this after she had manifested that. She was like, it's so crazy when I would see the success stories, I didn't believe them. I thought they were too good to be true, literally impossible. And then she used the word, now I lived the success. And that's gonna be you too, literally. I know, these successes almost seem too good to be true. But that's, <laughs> that's reality. It's like an illusion that you feel you're doing bad because you're doing fantastic. So again, just take a look at these two different success stories. I'm trying a different kind of layout. Let me know if you guys do like the success stories coming in hot at the beginning. If you guys like these, like, give a like on the stream or this video if you guys are going to get the same exact success that they are. But it's just, it's just crazy how anyone can see all these successes and think, yeah, but well, I think it's an illusion. We think, yeah, but that can't happen to me because we think our situation is very unique. But every situation is unique in the way that that doesn't mean that it isn't going to come to you in the best possible way. It just comes on your own time frame or your own beliefs because this is your reality. Is anyone's reality yours? No, it's yours, right? So that's what we need to remember. So again, literally just got a missed call from him five minutes ago. I was not expecting that. My, her mind is blown. Blown. All caps, three hearts. How many exclamation points? Four exclamation points. That's a lot of exclamation to, to have on there, right? So this is you. 3D doesn't matter. At this point in time, they were in no contact with their specific person. Well, they had, a, they had other successes on there that I didn't show. I want to show in a different video. But they had other successes that were kind of leading up. But that one was, I thought it was really cool to showcase in my video about not giving or caring about the 3D because it, um, it has literally nothing, to do, literally nothing to do with your 3D, right? So the 3D was showing the exact opposite in both cases, right? And still they were able to manifest it. And so now you might be thinking, okay, Kyle, those success stories are really cool. Maybe I'll even keep the success stories up here. Hopefully I remembered while editing it to have both the success stories up here. So you guys could just look at them um, or unless you feel like you looked at them long enough, maybe I won't put them up. But so I want to start with a quote because we need to remember, we need to let go of basically whatever thoughts, feelings, energy expressions that we actually have on our external 3D reality because we feel like it's really important. That's the reason why we give so much stock to it and we feel like it's like the end all be all when it comes to manifesting is because we think our external reality is more real than our reality here. But I'm going to give you, as you guys know, a Course in Miracles quote. I love using these quotes and I'm going to tell you exactly how to basically let go of your 3D reality. So the first quote Sorry, I'm like, my nose is all itchy. Um, there's a quote. My nose wasn't a part of the quote. Miracles enable you to heal the sick and raise the dead because you made sickness and death yourself and can therefore abolish them. I'll say that one more time. Miracles or manifestations, that's, you can, I swap out manifestations with miracles in A Course in Miracles. You could do it the whole book and you'd have a whole different book. Manifestations enable you to heal the sick and raise the dead because you made sickness and death yourself and can therefore abolish them. You are your 3D reality. <laughs> it's you. As soon as you understand that your 3D is you, you're going to understand that you control it entirely. That's like Think of your 3D being your hand, okay? Like your hand, you control it, you can do whatever you want with it. You would never, you would never be thinking that your hand has this control, it's out of your control, I need to worry about what my hand's doing. No, it's totally under your control. And I know that A Course in Miracles uses 
death and sickness in order to understand this. But when you understand your 3D is your hand, you can then move it however you want. You can make little funny talkings. I could have a co-host on here, my co-host hand, right? Anyway, I don't know why I'm getting, getting silly here. Anyway, you can control your hand. As soon as you understand you own your hand, as soon as you understand you own your 3D, you control it and you would never have it be working against you. Because that's what I think actually is one of the, the reasons we feel the 3D is so important and it's like 3D is end all be all is because we feel it's happening to us, right? If your hand could just do whatever it wanted, that that's pretty terrifying, right? If it could just do whatever, is it gonna stab me right now? You'd be constantly in that anxiety and that's our 3D reality, right? We feel constantly bad stuff's gonna happen, right? Oh my gosh, this and that, blah, blah, blah. You control it. Just don't do it, right? And I know it's not that simple. You guys will think it's that simple um, the more we dive into it. But that's the first quote. Make and understand your 3D is you and you instantly gain access over it. The second one, the second quote is, you are a miracle capable of creating the likeness of your own creator. Everything else is your own nightmare and does not exist. You are the creator of this reality. You can do literally anything. It's, and I know this is like redundant, because I say it in all my videos, but maybe on the 332nd time I mentioned this, or maybe on a 333rd time, you'll fully get it and you'll be able to actually implement and act it out in your reality. Because the knowledge we talk about is basically useless if we don't actively use it, right? If we're not physically going out, acting it out, then it's literally pointless. So if you're not fully getting that you control your reality, that's okay right? That's perfectly fine. But we do want to move into that momentum because that's how you're going to change your reality. That's how you're going to get your specific person in the quickest possible way. So remember, you are capable of creating the likeness of your own creator. Everything else is your own nightmare. That's like the idea, remember, go back to the hand. You imagining your hand's going to harm you. It's not going to harm itself, right? Your 3D is you. It's not going to harm you, right? It has no intention to, unless you make it harm you, right? It has no intention, no desire. It wants to help you every single step of the way. Because your 3D, your hand, harms itself. It harms, if it's harming you, it's harming itself. And it, no being, no creature wants to do that ever, okay? Kind of have to switch hands. My arm is getting tired a little bit. Hopefully, I didn't mess up the connection of the, of the, the video. So that's the first thing that we want to remember. So we, if you, your hand, your 3D is, it doesn't want to hurt you at all. So we first, this is the first step, because I know I, I kind of broke it up into steps. I didn't say I was going to break it up into steps, but that's like the first step is taking control, okay? Taking control of your reality. Understand, take control of your hand. It's you. You can do whatever you want with it. You can help you. It's ready to help you. That's our first thing. Second is to, and I know this is going to, this sounds like it doesn't relate, but it does massively. Second is to understand we do not desire things. We don't. And I know on the surface you're thinking, what does that mean? Like, what? You think, how, what does this have to do with manifesting? We don't desire things. We desire what the feeling we think that thing will give us. So let me put it this way. We don't desire our specific person. We desire the feelings we feel they will bring us. And if you don't believe me, then if you thought your specific person would bring you misery constantly to the end of time, would you desire them anymore? And you're going to say, well, no. And you're probably still asking, Kyle, what does this have to do with manifesting? And the reason that we want to know this is because when we feel we desire something in our 3D, we become obsessed, we chase it. But if we understand the feeling is the secret and we're actually understanding chasing the feeling, we understand we always have access to the feeling. And the feeling comes first and that you must feel as if you already have it in order to see what you desire outside of you. So we want to feel it first and foremost. And then so understanding then happiness and love is the greatest desire. That's what we're searching for. And if you guys remember the Apple idea, our natural state is happiness. Our natural state's love. You don't have to try to go and achieve it, go and get it. You just automatically are loved, okay? So that's our next step. And the third one, I kind of already touched on it, 
is to remember that happiness and love are always experienced within. So that's, oh, I guess I kind of jumped the gun on this one because I was like, the feeling is a secret. That's what I put in my, um, in my comments under this one. So the feeling is the secret. Happiness is always experienced within. And it's funny because if you actually just make this leap mentally, you're going to experience a total change in your reality because then we understand we control our feeling. Our specific person isn't going to give us this feeling of being happy, being abundant. We're going to give it to ourselves because right now, something that may be kind of keeping anyone stuck right now, maybe we're one of them, keeping us stuck might be thinking, I can't be with my specific person until they make me happy or my specific person needs to make me feel good and confident and then I'll feel it. Or once they're with me and whatever, I'll feel happy and confident. But that's not the case. You need to feel that way first and foremost. And how many of us right now, and be honest, and you can comment it in the, sec the comment section below, how many feel their life would change massively if their specific person showed up, okay? Seriously, take some time and think about that. This is a very, very good question. And if you say yes or no, either way, does it matter? But if you just comment your answer down below, pause this video, think about it, because if you seriously comment your answer and follow along, it's gonna have like a coach, where basically I'm, this is your coaching session. We're best buds right now talking back and forth. I'm your manifestation buddy. If you comment, no, or comment, now I forgot the original question of yes or no. Did I word, I worded it. Do you think your, do you think your reality will change? Cause yes or no. Now I'm switching. I don't remember what I said in the yes or no. It's, do you think your reality will change a lot when your specific person shows up? I think that's, I think I worded it the opposite, but if you say yes, my reality will change a lot when my specific person shows up, then in that case, we need to remember, we don't manifest what we want. We manifest what we are. If your reality is going to change massively when your specific person shows up, I thought we were supposed to assume the state first, right? You're supposed to be that individual and then your specific person shows up. So the fact or idea of saying that your life is going to change massively when your specific person shows up is to confess that we don't actually feel or we are not actively in that state. Because if we were, it wouldn't change. Is your reality going to change if your name was um, what it is right now? And you'd say, well, no, it is that way right now, right? Like you'd be nothing would change. If you added something you already had to your life, would it change? And you'd say, no, it would stay exactly the same, right? Because that's your life. That's what we want to feel in the internal state we want to have towards our specific person in our reality or whatever it is that you want to get. If your reality is going to change massively by your specific person showing up, then we are confessing that we are not in the state of it. And so then we just need to switch it around. And you may be asking, Kyle, how do I switch it around, right? I'm glad you asked because I'm here to tell you what we want to do is raise our standards. Go first class in everything that you do. Do not accept anything less than exactly what you want in a loving way, not in a hateful, mean, rude way. Only accept and do things that raise your standards to the level that you want to be. And that's you with your specific person. So anytime you sit, and this is what I wrote down. Anytime you sincerely want to make a change, you must first raise your standards. You need to let go of that old state. You can't be living in the same, with the same beliefs, the same thoughts that you have previously. You have to make that change. You have to be someone different. Again, you don't manifest what you want. You manifest what you are. And that's actually like a play on a quote. I don't remember who, sweat, who said it. But what feelings do you no longer want in your reality? Aloneness, singleness, unlovingness. What feelings do you no longer want? Raise your standards above them. You're no longer allowed to do that. And what feeling, how did I word this? Yeah, what feelings and what states are mandatory? 
what feeling, do you want to be happy? Do you want to be loved? Do you want to be with your specific person? Do you want to be committed to? Do you want to be cared for? That's your new standard and you're not allowed to, per, to sway, to get out of it. That's your new standard and that's what you are going to accept, okay? But that comes in everything that you do. Now, right now, you may be thinking, oh, I'm just going to change my standards of what I asked for. No, everything you do must align with this. And I, I can't tell you how many times we forget that every portion of your life is a supporter or a denier of your belief. Like the video I made a long time ago, every time you make a decision, a thought, a feeling, a belief, whatever, you're either voting for the version of you in a state or you're voting for a different state. So everything that you do, what kind of standard are you living at? Are you allowing yourself to talk negatively to yourself? Are you allowing yourself to stalk your specific person's social media? Are you allowing your, and I know this sounds weird because we're not forcing our reality, but are you allowing your specific person not to be blowing up your phone every day? I, you might not have known, but that is specifically your choice. And so if you want to get those results that I mentioned at the beginning, we just need to raise our standards. So go throughout your day and just, um, just focus on what it is you want and don't allow anything less. Again, I know I said this is the third time I mentioned this quote, so you know it is important. If, if Kyle says it three times, then I think it, write it down. You don't manifest what you want. You manifest what you are, what you are, who you're being. Raise the standards of who you're being because your 3D means absolutely nothing. Really, it has nothing to do. It's not your end. So if this isn't your end, and so think about going back to the beginning, um, if you guys remember that quote, or not the quote, the success story, uh, my specific person asked me on a date, even though a month ago said he didn't want to have any sort of connection with me. Did that bother you? Would that bother you? Does it bother you? Do you have something close to that? Write down, write any of your circumstances in the comments below and we'll all be here to kind of support them or go through with them together. But does that bother you? Would that bother you? And most of us are going to say yes. But why would anything, the 3D means nothing. The 3D is the middle. You know it's not the end. So then why does it bother you? Why are we assuming that because our specific person says something because Right now we have $5 in our bank account. Why do we feel that means we can never have a million dollars in our bank account? Because we feel single, because we feel in love right now. Why does that eliminate the ability for us to go and get to whatever it is that we want? It's literally, um, it's kind of crazy that we think about this, but um, really it's all the middle. And if you're going on a vacation does going and flying in the airplane bother you? You'd say, no, you're excited, you're happy, you're abundant during the process. That's what I want you to feel when you're manifesting your specific person, okay? You're happy. If you were driving to the date of your specific person, let's say you and your specific person have a date later and you're getting ready. Are you miserable getting ready? No, you're preparing and you're getting ready in the knowing. That's the level of commitment I need from you with your specific person manifestation. Because remember, and if you're if you're in my group or in my memberships, this goes double for you. Anyone in my membership or my group, double for you. Because we are manifesting by February 1st. That's the whole goal of everyone in the memberships, in the in my coaching. Double for you. What Enjoy the process. Get in the knowing. Stop letting your 3D get in your mind and have you thinking that you can't do it. Again, I have my own manifestation going that I think you guys know. I want to manifest 10,000 success stories. I'm restarting. I'm pretending as if you guys have already seen all my success stories. These aren't, well, actually one was. These I'm resetting and I'm manifesting 10,000 more success stories in my YouTube members and in my free coaching. So, that's that's how it is. So if you want to be one of them, be a viewer, tell me how much you support that 10 you are just please help me out and please manifest your specific person with this information so you can add add I can add you to the 10,000 um manifestations that I want to do. I feel like that's so fun. I feel like I'm going to have a champagne bottle over there that I'm going to pop once I get it. Um so if you're okay with that, 
then that's awesome. Just pretend like your manifest you're actually not there's no pretending. Your manifestation is my manifestation. I'm making it my problem that you get your specific person. And that's always the way it's been in my coaching. Um, really now more than ever. And that's how you guys see um, I'm producing like so much more content, giving out so much free stuff because I want you guys to know and get to that. And so any questions, comments, ideas, comment them down below. If you guys did want to join the membership and um, kind of catch up with everyone, I think I kind of touch on this every time. Um, just become a member, click become a member and you'll be able to watch the first video. So not hurry up, but we are... We're only a couple days to do it. So you still have time to go over that and do, because we actually have a goal to meet this week. And I actually have a success story already that I want to tell you. There's um, already, wait, it's kind of been, actually, it's been over a success story a day in successes since I started that. And I think about it because I have three or four, I don't, three for sure, but I think it's actually four that, um, that have manifested already. And we started Sunday. So Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah. So we're, we're already more than one a day. So join in and send me your success stories. Um, because, and I, again, I remember even getting, um, comments talking about that. So it's so cool. There's never ending surplus of love in your reality. Just tap into it. It doesn't matter. Um, what you feel, your worries, your reality, your 3d. Remember the person, the success story said, that, what was it? Yeah, a month ago they said, I don't want to be with you. I want no connection with you whatsoever on a date. Boom. Like, what? And then two, the other person, if you might even be someone who looks at these success stories like, mm, don't believe it. That was the other success story. Literally, they stated, what did they state again? I want to, I want to make, I want to reiterate this as much as possible. They said the words, quote unquote, is this really true? Or quote unquote, impossible. And now said, that's crazy. I lived the success. They totally doubted it. And that's okay if you doubt it too, because um, you're going to live it too. And you're going to say the same exact thing that they did. So again, let me know any questions or comments down below. If you did want to send me a personal comment, email, question, anything like that. If you have successes, worries, fears, anything, um, reach out to me at kyleaugustcoaching.com. Remember, if you send me a message and I don't respond instantly, I didn't ignore you. I promise I'm getting back to you because you guys, you guys are absolutely, absolutely blowing it up, uh, blowing my stuff up and I love it. I want to hear all about your success stories, all of your questions, comments, concerns. I want to help you manifest, right? You, you're helping me, you, by coming to me and asking me questions, commenting, watching my videos, you're helping me one, uh, thank you so much for supporting my channel, but then two, you're helping my manifestation of 10,000 manifestations and you, I guarantee you, you will be one. Um, so Again, reach out to me. Don't feel like you're bothering me. You're definitely not bothering me. I want to hear everything. You have cool successes. We're, again, if you worry about something, I'll help you. I, I'll be here with you every single step of the way. Thank you guys so much for stopping by today. Hopefully you, hopefully you guys liked this video. Let me know any questions or comments of like future videos you want me to do um, because I've kind of been doing my own thing. Getting, I've been really researching every single one of these videos. And let me know too if you guys like the success stories showing up instantly at the beginning. Uh, leave a thumbs up on this video if you know for a fact you're going to be one of those 10,000 success stories that I'm mentioning. But again, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video tomorrow.